Hey guys, what's up? Wargamer Bucks here. Um, right, this morning I have just literally just finished my uh, hive tyrant, and I thought I'd show you guys um, how I how I painted them up. Now, just as I'm filming this, I've noticed there is a couple of bits that I still need to do, like the armored spikes on his tail there, and a couple of little bits of touching up here and there. But this is him basically finished off. Uh, he's actually really easy to paint. I only took me maybe well, I've been rare painting, so I do it a couple of hours in the mornings before I head to work. Um, and he's probably taken about two or three days, so not really that long to be honest with you. Um, um, I like the way, like, he's quite there's quite a few big areas on the model, so easy to get a lot of detail in there and to be honest with you it's kind of I'm gonna say it's a bit of a cheap model to paint because you can make it look really good without using much effort I wouldn't say I'm like a high-class painter or anything but I feel like I've done quite a good job um, so that's in that I'll just run through some of the paints I used I started off by using a base coat of well I sprayed it white um, and then I used Seraphin Sepia for the kind of yellowy skin colour. Next, after that, I used Mephiston Red for all of the armour places, like the carapace, the like trim on the weapons, etc. Which I highlighted with Evil Sun Scarlet. It's a very nice colour, I think they complement each other really well. As you can see there, oh, if I get it in focus, sorry. You can see there, I think it's not much of a lighter colour than the actual first and red, but it's just enough to give it a bit of definition. Um, so before I got to the red stage, I actually used Screaming Skull to go over some of the skin areas to kind of pick them out a bit. Again, it complements the Seraphim sepia really well because they're near enough the same colour, it's just this one is a tiny bit brighter and it just sort of picks out the picks out the highlighted areas really well. Also, when you're painting, if you're anything like me, you're gonna maybe go get a bit of red on the on the places where you aren't gonna have it. And it's such an easy thing just to go over it that makes it look like you're a pretty good painter. <laughs> Well, I'm not really, but there you go. Um, and the next thing I did was in the crevices and the cracks, like along here, like I guess they're kind of vents and the bits there. I used Druidish Violet. Now, I was originally going to do like the skin colour in these and that turned out terribly. I'll show you some gaunts here. Uh, like that there. But I was trying to copy a picture that I saw in Games Workshop um, and it just didn't turn out as well as I hoped it would do. And unfortunately I think that 10 all at the same time so I've got to try and do something about those and get them back up to this sort of colour, this sort of paint scheme. I'm really impressed with the kind of tube linking up to the venom can in there. Again, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I started off having it just just painted in seraphim sepia like the rest of the model. But then I thought, no, it should be kind of a bit different because it's not just like it's kind of more like a fleshy tube. It's not not actually the hardened skin, if you like. So then I. Thought I'd brush over it in Drew, Drew Itch Violet. Um, but that was, again, it wasn't quite right. It was too sort of purple. And I just didn't like the look of it. And then I was flicking through the codex and I noticed there was a paint job on it a bit like this. So what I did was I just went over it with, or well, like went over the raised areas and the actual main part of the whip and just left like these little holes and things. I left those which Violet, but I went over it in Screaming Skull. I think it looks pretty cool. 
and let me know what you think, whether I should go over that with Seraphim CPU or just leave it as it is. And then for the tongue and the eyes I used Thunderbolt Blue. I think it's just a really nice colour to give it a bit of a change to break up the sorry, hold on. There. Yeah. To break up the actual colour of the model itself and the red and things, just a nice little bit extra. Let me know what you think.